everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a problem from coordinate geometry so let's get started problem if the distance between the points order pair 5 minus 2 and 1a is 5 units find the values of a so here solution given that the distance between the points 5 minus 2 and 1a is 5 units. Okay, consider two points 5 minus 2 and 1a. The distance between these two points is 5 units. Here we are asked to find the values of a. Okay, we know that the distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is given by d equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Right. Now, let's find the distance between these two points. Okay. Now, the distance between Five comma minus two and one comma a is d equals to square root of x two. This is your x two y two, and this is your x one y one. X two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square is equals to square root of 1 minus 5 whole square is minus 4 whole square plus a minus into minus plus 2 whole square. Okay. Also, we are given that the distance between these points is 5 units, which is nothing but we got distance between these two points is minus 4 whole square, that is, we can also simplify this to minus 4 whole square is 16 plus a plus 2 whole square, right? So, the distance between two points we got is 16 plus a plus 2 whole square, right? And also we are given the distance between two points is 5 units, which is nothing but these two are equal, right? Since given that... The distance between the points five comma minus two and one comma a is five units. Therefore, this distance is one square root of 
16 plus a plus 2 whole square is equal to 5 units. Right. Then we can just write this as 16 plus a plus 2 whole square equals to 5. Now by squaring on both sides, you get square root of 16 plus a plus 2 whole square whole square equals to 5 square then we know that square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2 then square root of 16 plus a plus 2 whole square can be written as 16 plus a plus 2 whole square Put to the power 1 by 2, right? Since so square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, so you can write square root of a as a power 1 by 2. Okay? Then, you can replace square root of 16 plus a plus 2 whole square by 16 plus a plus 2 whole square power 1 by 2. Whole power 2 equals to 5 square is 25. We know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then this becomes a power for m equals to 1 by 2 and n equals to 2, right? A power m whole power n equals to a power m into m equals to 25. Here 2 gets cancelled. Then you get 16 plus a plus 2 whole square equals to 25. Now, take the 16 to RHS, you will get a plus 2 whole square equals to 25 minus 16. 25 minus 16 is 9. Is equals to 9. Then, a plus 2 whole square equals to 9. Then, a plus 2 equals to, taking square root on both sides. Okay. Or simply you can take this to two RHS, you'll get a plus two equals to nine power one by two. Since a power one by two can be written as square root of a, so you can write nine power one by two as square root of nine. Right? Since we you know that square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. So a plus 3 equals to plus or minus 3. You can remove the brackets here. We have a plus 2 equals to plus 3 or a plus 2 equals to minus 3. Then a equals to 3, take this to 2 RHS, it becomes minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Therefore, A equals to 1. Here, to take this to 2 RHS, you will get minus 3 minus 2, which is equals to minus 3. Therefore, A equals to minus 5. Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. 
So the values of A are therefore the values of A are 1 and minus 5. So how we can check whether the A values of A are correct or not? Simply by using this condition. We are given the square root of, that is distance between these two points is 5 units, right? Distance between these two points is 1 minus 5 whole square plus A minus of minus 2 whole square equals to 5. You need to get that is minus 1 minus 5 is minus 4 whole square plus a minus of minus 2 is a minus into minus plus 2 whole square equals to 5. Then square root of 4 minus 4 is 16 plus a plus 2 whole square equals to 5. Okay. Simply by substituting the values in LHS, you uh, need to get the RHS. Now consider LHS part. Square root of 16 plus A plus 2 whole square. When A equals to 1. Square root of 16 plus 1 plus 2 whole square equals to. Square root of 16 plus 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 square is 9 which is equal to square root of 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5 which is our RHS, right? Likewise, when A equals to minus 5, consider LHS part, square root of 16 plus, put A equals to minus 5, minus 5 plus 2 whole square equals to square root of 16 plus, minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3, whole square which is equal to square root of 16 plus minus 3 whole square is 9. 16 plus 9 is square root of 25 which is equal to 5. Right. 5, 5. So A value is 1 and minus 5 are correct. Okay. So this is a verification part. We have verified the answer using the given condition or from the hypothesis, you can say. So we have seen a problem from coordinate geometry in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.